service. Ah, great night for a walk on a gas lamp quarter downtown. Here at Cox Arena, it is Rivalry Week, presented by Novell, and it's retro night. Everybody dressing like it's the 60s or the 70s, and the great thing about that is Jimmy Dyke's wardrobe is now back in style. <laughs> nice. Single digits on the Wyoming shot clock. Richardson and Sanu Amati. Three ball straight. Just wouldn't go for him. Another rebound for Eric Sanders of San Diego State. That's 10 for him tonight. Mike McHale taking over this game. 54-49. Aztecs. Black. 15 of the last 21 games decided by 10 or less, 11 by four points or less. And as we told you earlier, last year, three games decided by eight total points. Eric Sanders, the big guy, his ninth double-figure rebounding game of the year tonight. McHale, I can't stop him. That's just pure power, Bob. Just catch it, turn, and go through you. Ducking in there is McMillan. Richardson. Dante can't knock it in. Here's Travis Hanauer back the other way for San Diego State. They're looking for the big fella every time. He overshoots it. Eric Sanders says, I'll take it. You don't have to do everything. And that's a double-double for Eric Sanders, his second of the year. And McHale's getting so much attention now, Sanders is able to float around on that weak side and clean it up. Adams for Wyoming. Air for San Diego with the rebound. So the smoke clears with nine minutes gone. Second half, Aztecs by eight. But Jimmy, you and I have seen these two teams play enough. We think it'll be fairly closer than that at the end. How about that overtime game we had here two years ago? That was something else. There's a the block. So last year when they win this Mountain West Championship regular season. Well, they won the close one. You and I are gassed after yakking up there for two hours. I hate to go 94 feet 50 or 60 times. A great seal. Nice pass from Sharper. Colorado State. Gets to look into that student section with the balloons and all those bad outfits down there. Sharper, and they'll go into their half numbers, and they pulled it out, and then a good job of the half court, just like that time there. How about that body control? Well, he's going to his right again, and anytime he puts that ball in his right hand, he's thinking one thing, get my shot off. That time he did. Dante Richardson. Sharper creates his own shot. When that goes in by a walk-on, you're thinking it's your night. That's pretty simple offense. Just come down, work yourself off a ball screen, attack the opening gap, and knock down a shot. And that's after DeAndre Moore had come back in the game. Uche and Sanu Amati with the miss. Here comes Moore. Aztecs are on a roll, leading by 13, under eight minutes to go. San Diego State has really played with good decisions tonight. They haven't forced a lot of looks, which I've seen them on film do. A lot of times, if the numbers haven't been there in transition, they've backed it out, and they've used the shot clock pretty well. For their first nine. DeAndre Moore rejected by Amati.
Jimmy, like you said. Like I said before that on the field goal by Sharper, you see things that just tell you it's our night. We're going to win. Burns. That one with two on the shot clock wouldn't go. The San Diego State has as much talent, if not more, than anyone else in this league. They did the same thing last year. A little bit of a slump during regular season play, but got in that Mountain West tournament and got on a roll at the right time, which is what you're looking for early in March. Who's hot? Who's hungry? Hey, don't roll the presses yet on this game. Mike McHale just got his fourth, and McHale, with a long time to go, has four. San Diego State now has to finish it. I mean, they're at home. Everything's in their favor. Four on three. And ten. Shot clock at six. There's a ten. Right, almost took it away. The shot short, and another stop by the Cowboys. Korea for Adams. Straight. Korea. Back door. He waits. He scores. Eight point game. Timeout. Diego State's lead is down to eight. Wyoming has all the momentum. Aztecs have two guys in serious foul trouble. Ubensiv. And there's McHale. Running house. How about that block? And another four or five second San Diego possession. And a good pass by Adams. Uh, you've got Tony Bland right wing. Adams on him. Same play, double high pick. Roll the screener to the block. Sanders the jumper. How about Eric Sanders? 12 for him. Double his average tonight. Her entry pass deflected. And now Wyoming with two crucial turnovers. Fit and blocked by Wyoming if you are the first attempt. Air ball, shot clock by Uche, unable to knock down the jumper. Eric Sanders the rebound. Steals it. What a heads up play. He was fouled by either Jason Strait or Steve missing something. And the San Diego players turned around and told him, shut up, our guy's shooting. Then he missed. Here's Korea for Roddinghouse. 2-10 to go. Dante Richardson. Roddinghouse catches the air ball. My goodness. But the trend continues as far as Wyoming getting to the free throw strike a lot. Look at that, the second half. When you're down eight and you had two full minutes, it could have been a two possession game. Tony Bland finally had to pick up his dribble. He finds McHale. Then he gets all wrapped up. Oh! He's going to make a shot for them. Is it Uche or is it Korea? Points on the night, 71-66. Roddinghouse game to two. Wyoming run all of a sudden. Sanders across the timeline for Tony Bland. Jay straight on him. Close to five count right there. Now Bland with Amadi in front of him. That's only his third free throw in conference play. He's made all three. Home. But again, that's a tough road swing for everybody. Along with a, just a couple of rebounds. He hasn't had to rebound. Tony Bland. Burns. He had more. And that's an intentional. Enough. You get that many more attempts. And Limit your opponent to that. Running out of time. Jay Strait can't hit it. Pulled out of there. Eric Sanders to DeAndre Moore. Taylor. Eric Sanders. Oh, I saw these people walking in tonight. Looked like another night in Southern California to me. Yeah, some of them. Got five teams in this league and 
bunch them up closer to They're on the floor. What's going on out here? Stay tuned. Sports Center is next on ESPN for everybody on Big Monday.